So bedside manner is obviously the bedrock by which you develop your doctor patient relationship and how patients perceive you when you are in the clinic and when you are making rounds in the hospital is of utmost importance to really developing i think you know that very strong doctor patient relationship and you know they've done several studies that have looked at how doctors are successful and which doctors build you know these very large practices and how they do that and i think there are really four ways in which you really can maximize the interaction that you have with patients uh, with regards to your doctor patient relationship and bedside banner the first is allotting the appropriate amount of time uh, if you look at statistically what patients complain the most about is they tend to feel that doctors are very rushed and we can all We've all been on the other side of that when we've gone to see our own doctors and we feel that the doctor isn't listening or just is trying to get through so they can get to the next patient um, encounter. And I think that that is very important to keep in mind because when you spend time with patients, they certainly get that feeling that you are invested in them and that you care. So obviously allotting the right amount of time, particularly when you have to deliver bad news, is incredibly important. The second thing is eye contact. I think that eye contact is probably the most important thing that you can do when you're actually interacting with the patient aside from the amount of time that you spend. And I think that's very important because if you're constantly looking elsewhere, you're looking at other things, you're distracted, it gives the patient the sense that you're not being completely truthful with them. So maintaining good eye contact, not just with the patient, but with the patient's family is incredibly important. The other thing that I think is very important that I use in my practice when I particularly I'm making rounds within the hospital is to kind of what I call level the playing field. And what I mean by that is put yourself in the position of the patient. You're sick, you're lying in a bed, and a group of physicians, residents, medical students, nurses, they come in and they're all surrounding you. That can be on a very basic level threatening. So what I think to help ease that that is very important is to actually sit down when you talk to patients. So I try to bring a stool in or bring a chair in and actually sit down when I'm talking to the patient about what happened in the OR the day before, what chemotherapy we're going to give them, what the treatment plan is going to be. And I think when you have that eye level contact with patients, they actually really appreciate that and they, they trust you more and they feel a sense that you're very vested in them and you're very kind. And lastly, I think one of the tricks that I think that are very important to developing a do good doctor-patient relationship is having a family member in the room. This is good for the patient and it's good for the doctor. It's good for the patient because that person can act as a scribe and can take notes, particularly in very long discussions when you're discussing various options such as surgery or medical interventions. Uh, I think it's very important to have another person in the room so they can actually just take notes. The other reason that it's important is it gives a patient the sense that they have an advocate for them in the room. It gives them the sense that there's somebody there that will advocate and stand up for them. And I think these four things are probably the most important things to really establishing a very strong doctor-patient relationship. They're easy, uh, they don't take a lot of time, and I think that overall they really do help and benefit uh, excellent communication between the doctor and patient.